This is just an experiment. If you'd like me to do another of these, please leave a comment, like, share, what have you. Whirlsin Gate, an experiment. Written by Mike Rojas. January 1921. Ravenlove Street. The gray silence has been leaking out of the graveyard in old Ravenlaw Street again. That's fine. Hasn't heard anyone. Yet. You look new to our sleepy town, but I could swear I've seen you before. I hope you're not another hallucination of my guilty past brought forth to confound and disturb me. I ain't got no more room up here. Old Noggin's fool, don't you know. Who am I? Where are you? Those are my personal questions, Mr. or Miss, as the case may be. They call me Sane Peter, and this place you're standing at is Whirlsin Gate. You know, the grave post of the world. Everybody's heard of it. We get tourists all the time wanting to see the fall of human civilization, what with it all ending in 136 years. Didn't no one tell you on the bus? Well, that chittering and chirping noise the bus makes is normal, but harmless. What you really have to worry about is Rexia, the bus lady. She takes care of that dead bus, and I think in turn it whispers to her at night the strange and forbidden secrets that crawl like worms to the surface of your brain on rainy days. Uh, the, the one that's making the hissing sound. It's what I'm told, anyhow. Not even sure she's a she. Never seen her face. Not even sure she has a face. I never seen her head. I suppose I should welcome you, but I won't. It's not my job. What you need to do is head over across the road to Dreamy's Drug Store and Soda Jerk. You'll see a man in a vest with a high collar that almost covers his gills. That's Taxi Smith. Ask him where a man can go for a drink round here, and he'll give you a complimentary chum soda shake. You get used to it after the first swallow. He'll eventually suggest you go over to the Wordless Hotel right there and give you whiskey-flavored ice cream. Don't eat the ice cream. A word of warning, don't look at your hands at the Wordless Hotel. No, nothing's wrong. Don't worry about them. Just don't look at them. Anyway, John Davis is a side project from discovering the fancy schmancy mysteries of the fabric of space-time blah 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 I'm so high and mighty and smart also runs the hotel. Give the ice cream to him. Overeating may be a sin in this town, but over drinking seems pretty safe. Another word of warning. Don't mention his wife or Madame Xanadu or you'll hear no end. Hi, John! No, we're not talking about you. Go back to your bottle. He's got ears that can hear a mouse prey on a lonely night in Queen's Cali. That's her neighbors to the north. Anyway, Mr. or Miss, I suspect you'll be running away screaming bloody murder in the middle of the night like all the others. But once the town compels you to return against your free will, why not come round to my place at the end of St. Faustina Street? I got a still in back, the contents of which will knock your socks off and melt your glasses. But it'll cost you extra to make you blind. Hey, wait a gosh darn second. Ain't you my dead nephew? Where are you going? Come back.